officers here at Station 84. Today I'm working on Engine 84, you see it here behind me. Uh, some of the crew members that are working with me today is our engineer, Chris George. Off to your right, we have firefighter uh, Eric Klein and firefighter Mario Rodriguez. Uh, we're gonna take a couple minutes out of our time today. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Give you an opportunity to see what the engine looks like. Maybe some of the uh, functions or responsibilities that we have. And how we help serve the public, try to help out uh, as, as things come up. Uh, behind me is Engine 84. It covers an area around Ben Davis High School. We go as far south as Rockville Road. We go as far north as 21st Street by the Chapel Rock Christian Church. Uh, and then we go east down to 465, and then uh, to our west we'll go all the way to the uh, county line, which is called Raceway Road. So that's kind of the area we cover. Sometimes we will go outside of that area. It just depends on, on what the needs are based on the call. Uh, our engine is specifically designed uh, for a couple different functions. One function is uh, to put out fires. That's the first thing that most people think about when you think about a fire engine. Our first primary goal is to put out fires. So this fire truck carries uh, water for us to be able to use. It carries hose, which we'll go over as we go around the truck, and it gives us a pump or the ability to be able to push that water where we want it to go. Uh, so that's the primary function of our engine, or any fire engine. When you hear something called a fire engine, that's usually uh, its designation. It's looking uh, as a primary job to put out fire. Our uh, other responsibilities include responding to medical calls within the community. So anyone that has um, a medical condition or they become injured, a car crash maybe, we're going to be one of the first ones called out with a, with a paramedic unit as well uh, to go check them out and uh, give first aid as needed. So the engine is also set up to provide that. Uh, and then there are a couple other special functions uh, that we can also uh, provide uh, some assistance to. Uh, we help with uh, people that are lost. Uh, we will go out and work with other units or other firefighters to help find people that are lost. We have some special equipment that help us do that and some training that helps us prepare for that. Um, and then this truck, like many of our fire engines, also carry uh, an advanced medical capability uh, in case we have any paramedics that are working uh, or assigned to the unit that day. Uh, we carry some advanced equipment that can help provide medical care as needed. So uh, I'm going to turn it over to our engineer, uh, Chris George. He's gonna show you uh, the front seat uh, where he operates, where he operates the truck, both drives it and operates the pump, and is basically in charge of anything that's going on with the unit itself, so he's very knowledgeable about the fire apparatus. I'm going to turn it over to Chris uh, to take you through his front seat. And Hi guys, my name is Chris George. I'm here at Station 84. Today my job is to drive this fire engine. When I drive this fire engine, um, i got to get to and from the scene safely, either fire run or medic run. Um, one of my key jobs is to get water um, to the firefighters through the hoses. And if you come back this way with me, I'll show you what those are. So these are our primary, primary hoses and our nozzles that we use here. Um, 150 feet of hose. Um, the firefighters take it to the front door and they, they're the ones that go inside and spray the water. Up top here you see all these levers that we have up here. Those are the ones that I pull and that makes the water go through the hose. Uh, we have uh, firefighter Rodriguez here. He's going to go over some of the jobs um, that he does and uh, thanks for your time. Hi, my name is Mario. Uh, so I ride backwards. This is what it looks like right here. In the seat I have my SCBA, which is just a fancy word for my air tank. I have my mask attached to it. And then usually I'll lay my gear like this. If you're gonna get a call. You know, you wanna be quick and dressed. So I have my coat, my hood, some gloves, a flashlight, and a radio attached to this. And right here are my pants. So we're riding with an extra guy today and that's his gear. And he will usually lay where you saw it on my pants and then we get dressed and we go like Chris said before 150 feet and if you can tell um, you have both both sides of the hose on both sides of the engine depending on the side of the house that we go on so if we end up coming on the front door we can pull this right here and take it and vice versa so my partner in the back 
if it's on her side, she'll pull a, she'll pull a hose from there, and then I'll go and hit the hydrant. Uh, compartments, like I said before, we got the air tank, so we have extra air bottles if we need to go back in. So if we, we go through an air bottle, we, we have the option to quickly get back in the house. There's various tools, so we have our axes, sledgehammers, uh, way to force the door, so. All this equipment, if you've ever seen us on the road, we usually put these on the wheels, like of a car accident or something like that, so it's not rolling. If we have to cut on the car or anything like that, we use tools on it. So, this is all dedicated to car accidents, basically. In the back, like I've said, we have various options. So this is the same type of hose, but it's longer. So if we need to go a longer stretch, we'll pull this one off. And then this one's a bigger diameter. So it's just more water, so if we need to go into a warehouse or something like that, we'll use this instead of the smaller hose. It's just the options. And then these are all lines to supply. So we're all supply lines to get water from the hydrant to the engine and into the tanks. We have what we call an airway bag. We call it an airway bag because we carry oxygen inside this bag. So whenever we have someone who has trouble breathing, or they have some sort of medical medical condition, um, we're able to give them oxygen and help them out. Uh, inside, we have just some equipment that we use, like I said, to help people breathe. Um, so it's called a nasal cannula in here. Somewhere. And then this is a bag valve mask that we can help actually breathe for someone who's not breathing. Thank you very much for spending a couple minutes of your day with us. Hope it was interesting. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Have a good day.